In this video, I'll share my list of the first nine books I recommend that debaters read for the criminal justice reform topic. Where did this list come from, and why did I create it? One of the first things I do when I start preparing for a new policy debate topic is to figure out what books I should read to get myself up to speed about the new controversy area. I don't exclusively read books. Other sources like journal articles, websites, podcasts, and documentaries are important too, but I found over my many years in debate that reading a few books at the beginning of the process gives me the best foundation for my topic research for the rest of the year. When deciding what to read, I try to find a mix of the most important books that everyone in the field seems to reference and more recent books that provide up-to-date commentary on the topic. With some topics, this is relatively difficult. Last year is a good example. There aren't that many books written about arms sales policy, so I ended up with fewer books on my list. That's not the case with the 2020-2021 criminal justice reform topic. There are more books about this topic than anyone could possibly read, so the challenge is figuring out what to prioritize, what to save for later, and what to skip. My goal is to identify a set of books that include useful background information, theoretical context for contemporary debates in the field, and high-quality evidence. In the rest of this video, I'll list and briefly explain the nine books I think you should read. After reading all or part of them and skimming the rest, I think these books provide a great foundation for studying and debating criminal justice reform in the upcoming season. The books are organized roughly in the order I would recommend them, from most important to least important. I know that most students won't be in a position to read all of them, or won't want to at least, but I think you will greatly benefit from reading any of the books on this list. Without further ado, here are nine books about the criminal justice reform topic that I think students should read. First, The New Jim Crow, Mass Incarceration in the Age of Colorblindness by Michelle Alexander from 2010. Since it was published 10 years ago, this book has had a massive impact on the public conversation about criminal justice reform. In it, Alexander, a civil rights lawyer and legal scholar, traces the modern evolution of what she calls the New Jim Crow caste system in the United States. Many more recent publications take for granted that readers will have a basic understanding of the arguments in Alexander's book, so it's essential that debaters study it. Note, there's a new paperback edition of this book from 2020 that includes a new preface about the last 10 years of the criminal justice reform movement. If possible, get the updated edition. Second, From the War on Poverty to the War on Crime, The Making of Mass Incarceration in America by Elizabeth Hinton from 2017. Of the many books about the history of the modern U.S. criminal justice system, this is the best one I've found, at least for the purposes of preparing to debate the criminal justice reform topic. Written by a Harvard professor, it argues that the origin of the mass incarceration system can be traced to President Johnson's war on poverty. It provides a very readable history of the development of the criminal justice system from then to now. While there are a few cards in it, the book is primarily valuable because of the historical perspective it provides on contemporary policy disputes. Third, The First Civil Right, How Liberals Built Prison America by Naomi Mirakawa from 2014. This is the other modern history of the criminal justice system that I recommend. Written by a Princeton professor, it seeks to explain how we could have one black man in the White House and one million black men in the Big House by tracing the modern development of the U.S. prison system. It shares many conclusions with Hinton's book, but the two books together provide a more complete and nuanced perspective. There are also more cards in this book than you might think. Fourth, Are Prisons Obsolete? by Angela Davis from 2003. This is the seminal book about prison abolitionism. In it, Davis, the famous activist and academic, explains the theory of abolitionism, distinguishes between reformist and abolitionist approaches, and explains what abolition could look like in practice. This book is heavily cited by contemporary abolitionists, so I think it's essential reading for debaters preparing to argue for and against abolitionist positions. It includes many useful cards. Note, there are a few updated versions of this book, but it's somewhat hard to figure out the differences. The version I read is from 2003, but it seems like the more recent versions might have an additional chapter. Fifth, The End of Policing by Alex Vitale from 2018. This is a recent book by a Brooklyn College professor from Verso Books. It summarizes the history of efforts to reform the police, explains why those efforts have failed, and proposes alternatives to policing. It's chock full of cards. Note, at the time this video was created, Verso is making this ebook available free of charge from its website, versobooks.com. Sixth, Police, A Field Guide by David Correa and Tyler Wall from 2018. This is another recent book from Verso. The authors are professors at the University of New Mexico and the University of Tennessee, respectively. 
Written like a classic field guide, kind of like an encyclopedia, this book includes a series of short chapters, each critiquing a specific aspect of what the authors call cop speak, the language and vocabulary of the police. It's full of cards. Note, as with the end of policing, at the time this video is being created, Verso is making this ebook available free of charge. Seventh, Violence Work, State Power and the Limits of Police by McCole Siegel from 2018. Written by an Indiana University professor, Violence Work traces the history of policing and reframes it as violence work. It challenges so-called common sense understandings of policing and argues that even many proponents of reform fundamentally misunderstand the nature of policing. It is useful both as a theoretical and historical primer and as a source of evidence. It includes many cards. Eighth, The Long Term, Resisting Life Sentences, Working Toward Freedom by Alice Kim et al. in 2018. This is a collection of essays, poems, and interviews from currently and formerly incarcerated people. Published by Haymarket Books, it covers a wide range of subjects while providing readers with a perspective on the criminal justice system that they might not otherwise get from academic publications. It's the kind of book you can jump around in, moving back and forth through the different sections at your own pace. It includes many cards. Ninth, Caught, The Prison State and the Lockdown of American Politics by Marie Gottschalk from 2016. This is a comprehensive and thoroughly researched assessment of prison reform proposals. The book itself is 282 pages, but there are almost 200 pages of endnotes. Written by a University of Pennsylvania professor, it critiques what it argues are the two dominant approaches to prison reform, reforms that attempt to reduce racial disparities and bipartisan, race-neutral reforms. It is a good source of cards and a great source for citations to help with further research. So that was my list of nine books about the criminal justice reform topic that I think you should read. There are certainly other books that you might want to include in your reading list. These nine books will get you started, but they won't complete your research. If you have a suggestion for a book that didn't make my list, please share it in the comments. I hope you found this video helpful. Happy reading.